There you go. Play against yourself. Play against yourself. Right, let's go and put. Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, whichever one it is when you're watching. On the last video, I said that we were going to do the full video on Thursday, but looking through it, there's so much information, and I feel like if we break it down um, into little manageable chunks for you, into the moments, um, it will be a lot better, and you'll get a lot more from it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to release another short video, concentrate on specific elements of what we talked about. So watch these individual videos and try and take something from each one. If you can do, then that's fantastic because there will be a good few of the videos. So if you can take one thing off each video, could be four or five things that you can put into your golf game to help you improve. Always a winner. This one's named Play Against Yourself. You probably know what the video is about from that title, but we'll see how Jermaine added it into his career or used it in his career for his benefit. Career highlight. What would you uh, what would you say the oh, best easy. best part of your career has been? That's easy. Signing my first ever professional football contract. Okay. Because it was it was a dream come true. That was that was like ever since I was I don't know five six seven years old and watching teams play football on TV. Yeah. I always wanted that to be me. I wanted, always wanted to have that chance, that opportunity. And yeah, yeah. when I was able to realise that, signing my first contract. March 2006 for Leeds. That was it. That was the moment. Yeah. 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 Oh, perfect. Easy. Perfect. <laughs> it's when you kind of know that, 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 like you, you were saying, like you're at Wheelston playing in front of 40 people and then it goes to playing in front of 35,000. Mm. It's uh, that, that feeling that was of crazy. That, that must have been a highlight, the first, the first game that you played for Leeds. Yeah. You know, w running out in front of all those fans. That was, that was, um, that was probably the most nervous I've been. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. The most nervous I've been. Um, because I was used to being, you know, comfortable in my surroundings and, yeah. and you know, I knew everybody at the at the ground, yeah. at, at the stadium, you know, I knew everybody's names. Yeah. To go from that to to being on television, yeah. playing in a humongous game against Crystal Palace who've got massive, massive um, history. Um, at Ellen Road, which is one of the most notoriously um, vocal stadiums yeah. in, in, in the world. Yeah. That was crazy, crazy incredible moment. So how did you deal with that? How, how is it kind of like, uh, it's like, it, I'm always trying to liken things back to, to, to help the people that are watching for, for the golf. Mm. It's like when I, was, when I played in the Open Qualifier last year, um, there was about, 100 people watching you know yeah. the first tee shot and you'd almost just need to try and get yourself into a zone just where you just everybody out yeah which is easy to say yeah when you're stood on the sidelines and you're looking in yeah but when you're in the moment you have a quick glance up and then you see a crowd of a sea of people yeah and then you focus on where the ball is you concentrate again and then you hear the roar of the crowd yeah and somebody gets closer to you and the, the, the roar gets louder, yeah. or you have a great touch and you're closing in on goal, yeah. and everybody gets a little bit more excited. Yeah. It's, it's learning how to focus those sounds yeah. out of it. Yeah. And it's not easy, no. it, took, it took me a little while, but once I realized, the more I focused on me and blanking everybody else out, yeah. the more they appreciated me because yeah. they got the best of me. Yeah. Whereas when I started thinking about what was going on around me, yeah. Or what people think off, about you. Yeah, I took my yeah, eye yeah. off the ball. Yeah. And it, it, instead of me trapping the ball and it going in the direction I wanted, I would try and trap it and it would bounce off. Yeah. And it would, it would add another half a second or another second onto a really difficult situation that needed... Yeah. Yeah. Something quick. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the blink of an eye. Yeah. No, it's... Uh, there's quite a few people, that are, especially at amateur level, that are playing golf that they, they get really nervous when they play with somebody who's off scratch. Um, and because they're thinking about impressing think them or playing the yeah, same yeah. level as them. Yeah. But that's not what it's in. That's yeah. not what it's there for. Yeah. The person that's playing off scratch has practiced for hours and hours and hours yeah. every week, every month, every yeah. year, consistently. You yeah. know? And when you're an amateur and you haven't had the same training just yet, yeah. 
it's just a matter of persistence. Yeah, like, yeah. Being a professional footballer didn't just happen overnight. Yeah. Like, you know, this is something that happened. It, it took me 22 years to be able to realize my dream of being a professional football player. Yeah. Whereas a lot of other people have been able to go through the, the youth academies from the age of seven, eight, nine years old. Yeah. You know, so, so they're in that environment from yeah. a young age. So I wasn't trying to keep up with those guys. Yeah. I was just doing the best that I could do yeah, yeah. and focusing on what I could focus on within the moments. Yeah. And I mentioned before, I live when I'm playing football in 30 second increments yeah. because of that's that's the best way I found to get the best of myself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and the, with <laughs> with the greatest of respect to people when they're, when they're playing at amateur level, when you are playing with somebody, especially in the competition or something like that, mm. they're not watching you. No, they're and not. And they're not bothered. No. You know, they're not bothered about how you're playing. They're concentrating on themselves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's how they're getting the best out of themselves, like yeah. what you've just been saying. So they're in, they're in a competition with themselves. Yeah. There's nobody else out there that can beat, that can beat them yeah. apart from themselves. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Play against yourself. Play against yourself. Right, let's go and put... So basic take home messages, play against yourself. Always try and be better from one day to the next. If you shoot a three or four under net, the next time, try and get a four or five under net. As your handicap improves, keep striving to get better all the time. Don't be bothered about who you're playing with. Don't be intimidated by anybody. They're not watching you when they're playing in competition. They're concentrating on their own game. You play your game and play the best round that you possibly can Break it down into those shots and play the best shot that you can every shot. In the next video, we'll, we'll look at Jermaine's best three goals, what he believes are the best three goals in his career. Um, and I'll also dive into stuff like who to try and impress um, and much more. So keep looking out for these new videos. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell. We'll see you again soon.